I'm Lizra Fabian from Dominica, the nature isle of the Caribbean, and I am an alumna of the University of the Southern Caribbean. I'm really pleased to share my experience with you, share my story, a bit more about myself, which I hope will be inspiring to all who get to view and to listen to this newsletter and information that's being shared. I thank the University of the Southern Caribbean for this invitation, and I'm really humbled to be able to share with my, my network within the University of the Southern Caribbean. So currently I am in Bali, Indonesia. I am here for the global platform for disaster risk reduction. And being part of this platform is extremely important to me. It's a, a tremendous opportunity where I get to share about what we've been doing in the Caribbean and in Dominica more specifically, but also to learn from persons across the world. So also connect and tap into the best practices that they have, understand what they're working on, what they're doing, so that in Dominica, and the Caribbean, we can enhance what we do. We can pivot from where we've been operating, what we've been doing, and really enhance it based on the best practices across the world. How would I describe myself? I would describe myself as someone who is eager to learn, eager to find ways to improve myself, but also to contribute to my community. I'm a big person, a person who's big on community, and I'm still connected to the same community that I grew up in, as I, as I currently live in that community, but I am still eager to travel across the world and learn from many different types of people, different cultures, so that even though I'm in my community now, persons there can also get inspired to travel the world, but also to learn from all different parts. I'm also dedicated and driven. I really love to see my team succeed and just to keep sharing with persons and engaging them and having a great time. I'm quite adventurous, so I love travel. I love discovering new places, even in Dominica, as it's the beautiful nature Isle of the Caribbean. So, you can even find me if you, you think of Dominica and you think of adventure. Um, I'm one of those who truly love to find adventurous spots and have a great time. Some of my interests as well, my main interests include private sector development and as the executive director of the Chamber of Commerce in Dominica and also the first chair of the network of Caribbean Chambers of Commerce and this network includes Trinidad as well and um, 21 countries in the Caribbean region. Um, we are really excited and I'm personally interested in ensuring that this network continues to develop. Um, the focal point for disaster risk reduction of this network so these are sort of where my interests align. Private sector development, disaster risk reduction, even planning, adventure, you name it. And if it merges together in these areas, these are some of my main interests. In terms of my trajectory for my career and some highlights, after I left the University of the Southern Caribbean and I went to Jamaica at NCU and I completed my bachelor's degree. I returned home and I worked with my father's company. Um, it's a partnership with Stuco Construction where I was the office manager for one of the branches. And they're supported in helping fulfill whatever the duties were in making that office of Stuco Construction quite successful. I also supported with the rust care and the concrete business which gave me an experience in working more closely with the, the men who work in construction and connecting to different suppliers and customers. And it really allowed me to gain new experience um, in being able to find new interests. But from there, I got an opportunity and a scholarship to study at Tonji University in Shanghai. And I did my master's um, of international business in Shanghai. And subsequent to that, I returned home and I worked with the Dominica Coalition of Service Industries. And that's a service organization that supports the service sector, as the name, as the name says. And I, I supported this organization for about three years. And I received the opportunity, I applied, and I received the opportunity to join the Dominica Association of Industrial and Commerce as the executive director. 
I'm still currently the executive director and June gives me five years since I've been in this role. Um, being a part of the Dominica Association of Industrial and Commerce has certainly given me the opportunity to continue to add value to my country, um, to the private sector in Dominica, to the private sector in the region, and also as part of a, a global network. When I consider what would be some of my proudest accomplishments, um, thinking of my accomplishments, one of those that stand out to me is being a part of the global board for the Arise Global Network. And this is one of the reasons why I'm currently here in Bali because I am a global board member and I'm active in that organization. And this Global Arise Network is the United Nations Private Sector Alliance for Disaster Resilient Societies. So on a local level, I'm the focal point for disaster risk reduction or the focal point for Arise in Dominica. And on a regional level for Caricham, I'm also the focal point for Caricham's Arise Network. I'm also the focal point for disaster risk reduction for this organization. So being able to be elevated to the, the UN organization that deals with private sector and building resilient societies, that has been certainly one of my proudest accomplishments. One of my other proudest accomplishments is working with the youth in my church every Saturday. Um, though I travel abroad and I, I travel globally and try my best to be connected globally and learn and adventure out there, I'm still very passionate about supporting the youth in my church, in my community. We do things like, even well, the Pathfinder Club, I'm also the Pathfinder Club leader in my church. And I would say was currently the, the island coordinator for six years, the last six years. And being able to support the youth in my church, seeing them grow, seeing them learn, engage with them, that is also one of my proudest accomplishments, to see them develop and start thinking more critically and start um, having new interests that can help them to be better citizens in Dominica and part of the global world. What's my USC story? Well, my USC story started in 2005 when I left high school and went straight to USC. I had my older sister and brother, Grantley and Heidi, who were currently students there, and Abigail Fabian, who was a former student. I also had a, a, a lot of cousins and relatives and other persons from Dominica who were also at the school. So it sort of felt like I was moving to a community of persons that I already knew. But when I got to USC, it was rather interesting to me. Um, we had initiation and I had to um, do the initiation where we say, I'm a little teapot, nice and stout. Here's my handle, here's my sprout. <laughs> Oh, whatever it's called. And that was the first time I was learning the song. And it was quite interesting having to go to the uh, the basketball court and go around campus and get all these different things on our bodies. But I think all that helped me to be the person that I am today, all the experiences of USC. At USC, I was part of the drama club, drama mags, um, his love choir, the business club. Um, and the Master Guide Club, as well as teaching in the Pathfinder Club. So to me, USC was an experience that allowed me to connect with persons all across the region. I really love that about USC, where we had students from the north to the south and even from different parts of the world. And it was my first time moving away from home where I had to be rooming with three other ladies on a consistent basis. So learning to deal with different personalities, learning to appreciate others, learning to understand myself a bit more. I think these truly helped me um, to, to be who I am today because it's part of my US story, but it's also helped contribute to my development and my success. I think USC has been a place that um, despite the, the many rules and regulations, which I think it was the environment where I was in that had the most rules and regulations, more than home, more than moving to MCU. And when I started in China, there were very little rules like these that I had to follow. But it also helped me to be able to understand how to 
in, improve my respect for authority so that being in situations such as in China where you have to um, function within an organized society, it really helps you to be more, or it helped me to be more disciplined. I think USC has also helped me to grow a bit more closer to Christ because there were quite a number of opportunities that I've received to to learn more about him. I, I got rebaptized at USC um, and the different week of prayer, the, the different messages that we received. I don't remember all of them directly, but there were even a song, <laughs> Drumming Nero, Nero Blessed Lord. This is one of the songs that I remembered. Um, singing as part of the choir, that was also a tremendous experience. And going to on blitz to different churches. I mean, just the, the community feel that we had. Um, the community feel as well of going to La Coupe and, and rooting for Iskarib. That was also fun and, and a really great time for me. I think USC is a, a school that provided a good foundation for me to, to continue to succeed. It's also complemented my experience from home in Dominica, how my parents have supported me in, in helping to grow me into the person that I am. And also my community in Dominica, in Benz, in, in, the, in where I'm from, it really complemented what I experienced then and helped me to also improve my understanding and view of the world so that I can continue to contribute to others. So once again, thank you so much for giving me the opportunity to share about my experience at USC, share about some of my main interests. And I do hope that my experience will be of interest, but also encouragement to current students, to prospective students, and to even past students that no matter what your experience, you can continue to soar, and appreciate the fact that USC has contributed in one way or another to our development. Thank you so much.